Okay guys, today we're gonna be doing a division problem using the counting method. Okay, but this time it's a little different because we have um, decimal points, both in the dividend and on, in the divisor. And so there's two ways of um, writing this math problem out. And I have it listed here as 19.36 divided by 0.8, or we could also visually see it as, you know, 0.8, and then you have your division here, and then 19.36. So on my dividend, I have the 19.36, and my divisor, I have the 0.8. So what we're gonna do, just to make it a little easier, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over 0.8, so I'm gonna move it over and my decimal is gonna be behind my eight, so this way, and now it's just eight. Eight, and then if I move it here once, I have to also move it in my dividend once, and so it should read 193.6. And let's put um, up here and where my answer is gonna go, I'm gonna move the decimal right so the decimal should be right in between the three and the six and it's gonna go right on top like that so let's make sure we do that please okay so now how I'm going to think of this math problem is instead of having 19.36 divided by 0.8 it's gonna be a hundred ninety three 0.6 divided by 8. So that's how I want to look at it. So it's just going to be 19, 193.6 divided by 8. So also one more thing. So now in my quotient, so in my answer, there's going to only be one decimal point that I'm going to have to count. And we'll see this here shortly. So let's start and we're gonna write our um, divisor. We're gonna have our divisor always on the left-hand side, so that's eight. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna set eight. And my dividend, which is 193.6, or 193, I, yeah, 193.6, that's how I'm gonna see it, and the, is the dividend, and that's gonna go on my right-hand side. Okay, so let's get started. So it was, what did we say? One, nine, three, six, I believe. So 193 and then six, so 1,136, there we go. So that's what I have. So let's go ahead and place your pointer finger on that one, on that right-hand side. So that one, and this is where we start dividing. We ask ourselves, can one go into eight? Does one, what times eight equals one? Well, nothing, there's nothing. So go ahead and move your finger one to the left because this is where we're gonna start putting our quotient, our answer. However, does 19 go into eight? And what, how many times? Eight times what is closest to 19? Well, I know it's two times because Eight times two is 16, so I'm gonna set two times because I know that two times eight is 16. So it, it goes into it two times, and so I'm gonna have to clear 16. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is where I leave my finger for the next one. Does one go into eight? Ah, uh, no. So finger one to the left. However, does it go into 13? Do you see that? 13. Oh, okay, I caught myself. I had a mistake. So we said that two times eight is 16, right? So that's where we clear 16. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, that's where my mistake was. Keep your finger there. Now, does three go into eight? Well, no it doesn't, but we do know that 33 does. So move your finger one to the left, keep your finger there. How many times does 33 can it go into eight? Well, 
if we know our timetables, we know that it could go into it four times. Four times eight is 32. So we clear 32. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Keep our finger there. Can one go into eight? No, no, no. So can it go into 16 though? Yes, it can. So move your finger one to the left. This is where we're going to put our, our answer. Um, 17. How many times can 17 go into 8? Well, I know that 8 times 2 is 16. Oh, into 16, sorry. How many times does 16 go into 8? Oh, it's 2, right on, 2. 2 times 8 is 16, so I have the clear 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And there we are. So now this is where we have to pay close attention. So remember, so now I can read my answer, my quotient. But remember, we had one decimal point after this number right here, remember? So it's only one decimal point. So there's only one number after the decimal point. So that's one. That's it. So that's it. We don't have to worry about counting anything else because we made this switch in the beginning. So we just have to worry about knowing that there's one decimal point so if there's only one, so my answer should read 24.2 because there's only one number after my decimal point. So I'm going to say my quotient, my answer is 24.2. Please feel free to pause, rewind if needed, but that's basically how you do division on an abacus using decimal points. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, try a few out and hopefully um, you have a great experience. Have a good one.